All right, so here are some um, examples for how strings can be further manipulated. In addition to adding and uh, indexing, we have a system called splicing in Python. This is unique to Python. Uh, most other languages do not have this uh, method of um, finding a part of a string. So I've set up a, st a string called word, saying that this is a very long word. Now, you notice there's no space. There's a reason for that to make things simple. So the key is splice. What splice does is you need two inputs. You need an input in front, an input behind, in between square brackets. Remember, square brackets means get something from either a string or a list. Get something from that. And inside tells you what. If it's a single number, then you get that specific character. If it's say, in this case, a range, how does it know it's a range? There's a colon there. So the first one is where we start. The second one is where we end. Um, this is how we get a range of characters. It'll be easier to show you, so let's have visualize. So word, this is a very long word. Setting up, no, nothing new. When I hit the next one, this is Ave. Well, the thing is, because of the way it's set up, it looks like this I save. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, I'll take those uh, chances if I want to. Now let's see why is it this I save. Well, zero and nine. How are they related? So zero, we know is the first character. That's T. Uh, because uh, that's where all references start in uh, Python. So T is there, so that's 0, H is 1, I is 2, S is 3, I is 4, S is 5, A is 6, V is 7, and E is 8. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 characters. But what happens is the ninth character, if I just type in a word square bracket 9, will be R. So what these this section here does is it says start from the 0, start from the very beginning, go all the way to, but do not include the ninth character. So we'll go all the way to, but do not include the ninth character. So that means 4 and 15 will be like this. Go 0, 1, 1, 2, oops, 2, 3, and then 4. So 4, go all the way to 15, but not include the 15 character. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so go from I here all the way to 15, but do not include the 15th character. So let's see what happens. Indeed, it's a very long is what comes out. Now this here is shorthand. If you start from the very beginning, you do not need to write the zero in front. So you just leave the front blank and the computer automatically puts the zero in for you. So it will be the exact same as the first one because it's 0, 9. Um, shorthand, if you have 9 in front and you have nothing in the back, what happens is the, uh, the computer automatically fills in to and realize that you need to go to the very end of the word. So it starts with 9. 9 is here. R. So what will happen is to start with R because the first uh, the first one keeps the uh, keeps the you start at the first one, and you go all the way up to, but do not include the last one. In this case, the last one is blank, so it actually goes to the end. So let's see. Exactly, it goes all the way to the end. Uh, this is called reverse. The negatives is what causes it to reverse. So if t is 0, negative 1 actually goes all the way to the back and gets you d. Uh, the same rules apply for the shorthand. So it starts with negative 5 and goes all the way to the end. So negative 5, 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So it starts with G and goes all the way to the end. Uh, goes start from the beginning and go all the way to negative 4. So it's negative 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, which is W. So start from 0, go all the way to negative 4, but do not include negative 4. So that should be your word. Now this takes some getting used to, and you will have to play around with it a bit. Uh, but these are nice functions if you ever want to simplify your code. Um, do, you do not need to do splicing or reverse indexing. This is an uh, extra trick that I, uh, I think it will be good to know.